Hello everybody, I'm Mr. L. Today we're going to be playing Five Nights at Cobson's. Five Nights at Cobson's is an absolutely bone-chilling genre-defining horror game available on Steam coming Hello. soon. Hello. So make sure you add it to your wish list so you're aware when it comes out. Let's begin. Chud's given me. Got notorious rapist and murderer brought to justice. Good. Mental asylum, completely safe, alleged soystein. Cool. Janitor applications open. I want to get paid, though. Help wanted to work the night shift at the mental asylum. Includes a stress-free work environment, vending machine access, and an opportunity to show your devotion to the science and our brave health heroes. I could I could dig that, you guys. I love science. It's a little it's a little squirrel jack. Who's this? Hello. Hello. Hello there, little buddy. How's your first shift going? All I right. was doing your job once. Now I'm on forklift duty. Anyway. Dr. Soyberg wanted me to give you a quick rundown on your duties as a night guard. Night guard. So, you have been given the great responsibility of watching over the Soy Asylum Mental Facility on oh the boy. night shift. Your work plays a crucial part in keeping our staff and inmates, uh, I mean our patients, safe. Inmates? Now, allow me to acquaint you with your office. Your most important tool is your laptop, which is connected to That's a state-of-the-art security system that will give you full watch over the facility. Now, there are, of course, oh, blind so spots. Namely in the hallway in front of you, but with a quick strobe of your flashlight, you'll be able to take a look if you ever feel the need to. Yes. There's also a vent on your left, but we've installed a hash air in case you want to keep the cold air out for whatever reason. What we got here? On your right, you will see that you share your office with one of the patients. Okay. That's just Feral Jack. Feral Jack? He's a very deep sleeper, so he won't give you too much trouble. On the off chance you make enough noise to make him stir, just boot up his tablet. It's usually enough to soothe him. He's an You've iPad also got baby. Squirrel Jack next to him. He's a nice little guy. Squirrel Jack. Just be sure to give him his nuts, or he'll get a little rowdy. That's nuts. Oh, right. So, uh, the other patients can get a little uh, restless at night. Now, they aren't out to get you or anything like that. We're simply not going to infringe on Swojack rights by locking them in their cells. Even then, if they happen by your office, a quick strobe from your flashlight should spook them enough to leave. Soy Jack feet. rights are important. Soy Jack rights are human rights. flip the light switch off to make your office less interesting to any of our patients. Just know that the light switch is linked to the security system as well. You'll also find a generator room on one of your cameras. Usually our patients aren't that interested in it, but if you feel like they're about to cause some mischief, you may mm. remotely close its door from is your security reason? system. Anyway. Worst case scary. scenario aside, your shift should go smoothly. Just one more thing. Keep an eye on the cell directly in front of you as our new prison, uh, I mean dear patient, is being held there. The free roam policy won't apply for him, like look at that. so merely peek in there every so often not to make sure everything's alright. Anyway, see you tomorrow night, little buddy. I'm scared, you guys. Come back, voice. It's a hungry little squirrel jack. Gosh, it's dark. Wait. Ah! I don't like the look that imp jack is giving me. Fuck! It's so over, you guys. It's so over. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna get me. I'm gonna get jacked. Oh. Uh, Freaking Mark Markiplier. Ah. Uh. No, 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 no. Ah, he can't see me. He can't see me. Okay, he's gone. Oh, 
There you go, little guy. Yeah. This song calms me down too. Ambiance is killing me. <laughs> not today, Plier. Not today. This place is nuts. You got that right, Squirrel Jack. Open. Okay, it's 3 a.m. We're more than halfway out of power. We might be screwed. Oh, frick. Oh, frickin' heck. Markiplier today. Not today, Markiplier. No. Barrel Jack is seething. His iPad is broken. Mm -mm. That plier. <laughs> oh, Feral Jack is seething hardcore. It's almost morning. It's almost morning. Oh. Huh. Freaking imp jack gets me every time. Longest hour. Oh, freaking did it! Survive night one. Oh, What's this. Okay. God. That's Doctor Sawyer. Sun. I too. I just spent an entire night inside a freaking mental asylum. Check it out in my newest vlog series. Hashtag spooky, hashtag almost wrapped. Frick. Okay. Night one. It's not too bad. Hello. Hello, everybody. So, anyway, we had a 
small incident yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did you come across some unwanted visitors in our facility yesterday by any you chance? You can say that. The thing is, a certain plier wandered into the asylum and released a video on his SoyTube channel depicting our uh, Soy tube. patients. He even had casual conversations with them. Can you imagine that? The network security service is already covering it up, and our psychiatrists are analyzing the incident. But sadly, it has attracted quite mm -hmm. a bit of attention. I would expect further visitors throughout the night due oh, to the visitors. policy and all. Who is that? Dr. Soystein Sr. has managed valid person, to convince Wilson to handle them once he finishes his exercise routine, but expect it to take a couple of days. Sadly, until then, you'll have to handle this on your own. Aside from you, I'm probably the only one actually working in the asylum at the moment. Everyone else is doing their own research and science on this weird incident, after all. Right. I almost forgot. I also wanted to warn you about something. Last week, a package came in from the Congo, and based off the audible scratching inside it, I could tell it was probably alive. Well, whatever it was, Soystein Sr. quickly came in and uh, took I don't it somewhere. Like of that. All he told me was that it was a pet for his newborn son. If I had to guess, it's probably in his office now. And since he's gone at the moment, yeah, I would watch out, little boy. It's dark. So, you know how Plyer is a soy tuber, right? Soy tuber. Between you and me, he's probably been meaning to vlog Loser. this place for a long time now. But the recent capture of rapes and by our vaccine troops must have prompted him to go with it now. <sighs> Looking back, there's really nothing we could have done. We will hear from the judges soon. I'll be sure to let you know of their decision. That's all for today. Uh, see you soon, little buddy. See you, guy. Ah, she's so valid. Oh. Oh, imp. oh, ah, ah, she's valid. Ah, oh. oh, they're together. Ah. Uh. She's literally me. Looking good, except for him. Chud. Uh. Okay. Freaking frick is that, Areno? Is that the finger boy? Oh no, not the finger boy. Okay, we're halfway done. We can do this. 3 a.m. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> call it a wrap from here. Gotta watch out for that finger boy. It's boar. Stay tuned for further episodes of Five Nights at Copson's. Don't forget to wishlist it on Steam. See you guys next time.